Miss Hunt, there's a Detective Hopper to see you. Thank you. Is there anything I can get you, sir? No, no, not now. Thank you. Detective Harper? The forensics report came back on the white mask found at the murder site. It splattered with your blood. I'm going to have to arrest you for the murder of Emily Quartermain. I see the arrest warrant. Wait, you don't have one, do you? I'm giving you the opportunity to turn yourself in. No, I think you're bluffing to try and force me into a confession. The sooner Emily's killer comes forward, the sooner her family and everyone who loved her can heal. You were found with the body, and the woman's mask was found at the scene has your blood splattered on it. Yeah, according to statistics, over 40% of murder victims are killed by someone they know. Very often by someone they love. I've heard from several witnesses who say your behavior has been erratic, you're prone to violent rages. You see doctors, but no one can figure out what's wrong with I'm, you. I'm really not interested in your medical analysis of me. If there's a medical reason for what you did, it might be a mitigating factor. But stonewalling the investigation will only make things worse for you. St Detective, I've given police full access to my home answered all of their questions to the best of my ability and even opened my medical records. And though I object to being arrested without a warrant, I certainly didn't stonewall anyone's investigation. I'm giving you a chance to make things right. If you aren't prepared to arrest me right now, leave. Every single witness has told me how much you loved Emily. Now, if you snapped, for whatever reason, the, the guilt must be hell. You feel a lot better once you knew what really happened. Nicholas, don't you dare even think about making a confession. I'm absolutely certain that you did not kill me. Mr. Morgan, do you have a minute? <clears throat> Detective Spencer, I didn't realize you were working the, uh, the Emily Quarterman case. No, I'm not here on police business. Oh, huh. well, stay or go, it's up to you, but I need to question Mr. Morgan about his sister's murder. We have some new information that suggests you were wrong about how it occurred. You deliberately lied. PCPD received an untraceable text message piggyback over the mayor's cell phone. He said Anthony didn't do it. Now, except for Nicholas Cassadine, whose memory is inconclusive, you were the first one to enter the ballroom after Emily's death. Now my question, should you choose to answer it? Do you have any reason to believe anyone other than Anthony Sakara killed your sister? What can I do for two of Port Charles's finest? We're investigating Emily Quartermain's murder, as well as the attack on Carla Jacks. We think there could be a link between the two crimes and the September murder of Leticia Juarez. Mm. Moses has got anything to do with Anthony Zakara. You know that he has been certified insane. And if he committed a crime before his unfortunate accident, I would have no knowledge of that. We're not here about Anthony. We need to verify John Zakara's alibis for all three incidents in question. At this point, none of the ones he gave holds up. Gentlemen. You already know that John has an alibi for the night of Leticia Juarez's murder. And I think you're going to find that the murder of poor Emily was a random act of madness by John's father. What about the attack on Carly's life? <laughs> Didn't John tell you that he saw a witness fleeing the scene? A man he can't identify. John was the man who saved Carly's life. That's not an act of a guy who wants the woman dead. No, that's a good alibi. Gentlemen, 
If your department is trying to use John as an easy target for a quick arrest to mollify the public, don't do it. Go outside and find the real killer. He's probably stalking his next victim. You guys want to boost your reputation by bagging a member of the Zakara family. And poor, crazy old Anthony is an easy target. We know Anthony went on a rampage, and we've got all the evidence and witnesses we need. Why don't you just leave it that way? We got an anonymous text that Anthony didn't do it. We're proceeding under the assumption that it has to do with Emily Quartermain's murder. <laughs> Come on, guys. There's no way to run an airline. You don't have any leads, you don't have any suspects. And if you don't stop hounding us, I'm going to slap a harassment suit on you so fast it'll get you such bad PR that you are going to end up on your next beat, lifeguard at some dumb pool. You know, it's funny the way you give orders in this house like you've been doing it for a long time. And you have no plans to stop. We'll be back.